Thanks, Policy Genius, for sponsoring this video. And everything starts off with these three beautiful filet mignons. I mean, take a look. You can clearly see there's not a lot of fat in here. You see, these are not prime or a high grade filet mignons. They are just choice grade. But sometimes you get lucky and you get intramuscular fat like this. And the seasoning, I like to keep it real simple because today is all about the curry. So I went ahead and seasoned all of them with salt, followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. One of the most important things whenever you season a filet mignon steak like this is to season the board as well. And that's because it's the easiest way to get the edges seasoned. Take a look, you just gotta roll it around and you're good to go. Because once you're done, all there's left to do is to bang them up, vacuum seal them, and they are ready for the water bath. That is how easy it is to prepare these wonderful filet mignons. Which is perfect because it allows us time to go ahead and make the curry sauce. And this one is super good. As always, remember exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below for you. I started by melting a good amount of butter. Once that was done, I threw in some white sweet onions. You wanna cook them until you get a nice caramelization just like this. That is flavor building, so do not skip that step. Now I throw in one can of roasted tomatoes. Mix everything well and most importantly, make sure you deglaze the pan. At this stage, I also added a good amount of garlic paste, followed by some tomato paste. Mix everything well and combine these ingredients together. Keep the heat on the medium at this stage, because now it's time to add the coconut milk. Once you have done so, immediately start stirring. For the seasoning, I added salt, followed by freshly ground black pepper. Once I was happy with the taste, I threw everything into the blender. Blend that curry on high until everything is perfectly combined, as the next step is very optional. That's to run everything into a strainer. I wanted to have a nice smooth curry. Once the straining was done, this is what I was left with. Now take a look at this. That is how I made my curry. And it is extremely tasty. You can serve it immediately or you can put it in a sous vide bag. Doing so will allow you to heat it up whenever you cook your steak. Now I highly recommend serving this with some rice and a charred up pineapple. To do that, it's super simple. Take a look. I just got these pre-sliced pineapple from my grocery store. So I took them outside and my flamethrower made quick work out of them. If you don't have one, you don't know what you're missing. Because once I was done, take a look. Perfectly charred pineapples to go along with our dish. Talking about that, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook the steaks. For that, I'm gonna be throwing them in the water bath at 129 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. As the only thing left to do now is to put it together and enjoy. And hopefully it's gonna turn out fantastic. I got the steaks ready to go and here's one of the most wonderful thing about this actual recipe. You can make the curry also in advance everybody and then just heat it up whenever you're ready to serve. When you are heating it up just put it together with the steak. That's how easy it is. With all that being said, you know the steak I cooked it at 129 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. That is enough time to cook it all the way through. It is ready, we are hungry and it's time to take it out. Let's do it. Oh Lord, I wish you could smell how wonderful the steak smell. It just like filet mignon is something else, man. Now, as you guys already know, it is extremely important to put a crust on it and you gotta get that moisture out. But we're doing it with a flamethrower, everybody. That's what we're doing. So even if you don't take out all of the moisture, the flamethrower will do its job and get it everything nice and quick. Because I know what you're thinking. I know my steaks don't look good right now, but watch this. But before moving forward, I would like to thank Policy Genius for sponsoring this video. If you have anyone relying on your income, you need life insurance. Knowing that your loved ones are covered if something happens to you is priceless. And having coverage through your job just might not be enough. Policy Genius is your one-stop shop for finding and buying the insurance you need. And getting started is easy. Click the link in the description or head to policygenius.com slash and answer a few questions about yourself. Their proprietary technology makes it easy to save. In minutes, you can compare personalized quotes from top companies to find the lowest price and coverage you need. You can save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. Their team of licensed experts will help you understand your options and ensure you apply for the right policy. Policy Genius works for you, not the insurance companies. So you can trust them to offer unbiased advice and help you navigate every step of the shopping and buying process. When you are ready to apply, the Policy Genius team will handle the paperwork and scheduling for free. Typically, life insurance can get more expensive as you get older. So don't wait. Let Policy Genius help you find the right coverage today. Head to policygenius.com to get your free life insurance quotes 
results and see how much you could save. Thank you, Policy Genius, for sponsoring this video. But now, let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful feast today. Are you guys hungry? I it, looks, saw it. it looks fancy. You saying it looks fancy is doing a disservice to this dish. This is the most beautifully <laughs> presented thing you've ever put in front of me. Oh my God, you touched straight my up. heart, Delio. That was, straight, that was, straight that was up. deep. This looks amazing. <laughs> all right, so here's the deal. Uh, we're gonna leave this one alone, all right, for the rest of the family, all right? Oh, I got <laughs> I thought you put this here so that I could just grab it. No, 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 no. We're gonna share this one right here. As you guys can see, perfectly medium rare, everybody. Exactly the way we want it. I can see Now, it. there's no experiment today, all right, at all. Today, straight, <laughs> look at Leo. They're like, finally. <laughs> Every day, I have to come here and get worried about what we're putting in our bodies. But today, <laughs> today, today you get to enjoy. <laughs> it's been a while since yeah. we haven't had an experiment too. That's right, so here's the deal. This one here is straight up curry. Come over here, Leo. I'm gonna serve you straight up curry. And uh, it's like a little coconut curry, okay? Coconut curry. Yeah. All right, so here's the deal. We wanna put everything together in one bite and just taste the overall dish. You know what I mean? See how it tastes. Wait, 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 wait. We have to try this fillet by itself. Why, Leo? We gotta treat this fillet right. We're not gonna Go add ahead, it with Leo. all the sauce and everything. I Go ahead. Have to. <laughs> a sous vide filet mignon, it's your first time. Yes. Congratulations. You can never get this experience back because it's your first time that you're gonna taste it. You can never get it back. You know what I mean, Leo? Yeah. So hopefully it's gonna be a good one. Yeah. Well, Leo, it's a lot of pressure. It's I a know, lot of pressure. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's find out right now. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Wow. Oh my God. Hmm? Leo had a heart attack, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I forget I'm eating steak. It's so soft, like. Extremely, yeah. It literally hits your tongue and just immediately begins to just disintegrate. It's so tender, so soft, juicy. This is one of those cuts oh that was actually created in the cow itself for sous vide. It says like, make sure you sous vide this part of my body. <laughs> I know that's so messed up, but it's the truth, everybody. It is the truth, all right? Filet mignon, my number one. I know it's your number one. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Okay. Well, now. I have my bite ready. <laughs> oh, you have it? Okay. <laughs> and you don't want to talk about the I don't want to talk at all. You want to know about the this whole thing. This looks good. Whole experience. You ready, Leo? The whole experience? Yes, the whole experience. I, 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 I snuck in another more. piece of this filet mignon. Oh, you did? It's that much. <laughs> now, this is perfect for like a special occasion, all right? Because as you guys know, filet mignon is not that cheap. So special occasions only. Like Ready for it, Leo? This yeah. is like when you take your- I love the ratio of your bite. You know, 90% <laughs> steak. <laughs> And so is yours. I was okay. born ready for this whole meal. I don't think that anyone does it incorrectly. All oh, right, very good. You, you too. Yeah, not my steak. I was gonna say, fun. this steak looks like it's gonna be like the kind of steak you make, like you're staying home, you're doing a date with your girl. There you go, exactly. Like Special thing. events. You know, Leo can Cheers, everything. everybody. Cheers. Mm. Damn. That is amazing, everybody. This one is. It's a little fancy. Dude, I need, I need to like think about what I'm trying to say here because there's just so many different flavors being thrown at you. The rice, the sauce is super creamy. That pineapple gives it a like bunch of sweetness. That again, beautiful filet mignon. Everything harmonizes so well together. It's perfect. The sauce together with the rice. Make sure you add a little bit of that sushi rice vinegar, everybody in there. It is absolutely phenomenal. You saw how I made it. You can do it at home. In terms of like what's really taking it home. Yeah, it is filet. Filet's awesome, obviously. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. this sauce goes so well. Like it's the right consistency and it's not like where it's too goopy and it's also not where it's too liquidy. Yeah. I mean, it's like right there in the middle and it's like Perfect. As you guys saw it, easy to make, absolutely delicious. Highly recommend you giving it a try. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.